We did a little Costco trip. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it. Hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. So we're sitting here waiting for Ken. We have everybody here waiting. Where'd Andrew go? Did he go outside? What? No, he didn't. So we were just getting ready to take a photo outside. We need to take this family picture for something. And right when that happens, Ken's phone rings. So now he's on the phone and we need to wait for him. I don't know. Where did Andrew go? There's Andrew. So it's so humid outside today. I, don't, I got the crack screen camera. Did you see that, Aunt Carly? Where it's cracked? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I dropped it and it cracked the screen. What? A little humid outside? <laughs> Shake. Look at the camera screen. Oh. <laughs> How'd you do that? Dropped it right on the ground. You're supposed to be a professional YouTuber. So, and as many times as a day that Ken's phone rings, usually it's some sort of, like, wrong number, hang up call. Spam. Um, spam, whatever you want to call it. Spam is really just emails. So spam really, spam, spam calls. phone calls. Telemarketing calls. Yeah, what telemarketing. Call? The one time we need them, it's an important call, so. TikTok, everybody's getting ready to leave. Blake's gotta go to work. Andrew's going to work out. Taking Chase and Carly to get lunch. Everybody's so uh, interesting these days. Look at them. That's <laughs> all they do. Did you show people this is what we're taking on our trip that they still don't know? No, uh, no. This is how I'm going. <laughs> You're going to the back and one in the front. <laughs> You're going to wear. Actually, going to put Chase in here and then Carly, Carly in there. there. Sweet. They're probably thinking that we're going hiking. You think these are no, like hiking bags are bigger than this? Oh yeah, that's true. They're full size bags. See, I'm, I don't hike, so obviously. <laughs> I still think I'm gonna take my backpack. Really? Yeah. So we're at Sonic right now. We just ordered at this little drive-in thing. I like Sonics. I think their burgers are pretty good and I wanted to go ahead and feed the kids dinner because Chase has wrestling later. Carly has dance all night. And as I was sitting here, I just want to talk about this for a second. Some guy comes up and like wants me to roll down my window. And so this is what, the second time in the past? When did it happen last time? Last week. Where were we at? Uh, Target. Target? Somebody came up to the, oh, that's right. We were loading when we did the mom can't say no at Target with Chase and Carly. This guy like pulls up in a van that's practically falling apart, making this really loud noise, and was like, what? Oh, he needed gas. He needed money for gas. And there's this, at Franklin Park Mall, if you guys live near Toledo, you ever go to Franklin Park Mall? There's a woman that walks around Franklin Park Mall, and she's actually come up to Carly and I more than once. And it's the same story that I just got off work I don't have any gas my car's parked down there and she points like down the street who knows where she's pointing to and so I fell for it for the first time and then every time after that I just tell her I don't have any cash so anyway so this guy did the same thing at Target and then just here at Sonic this guy come up and he said you, he just needed something for his daughter yeah so yeah he said he needed money to buy his daughter food he's like and you can even come over here and buy it but he was on a bike so where was his daughter I don't know. so I didn't understand it but I don't know how do you guys feel in those situations because it makes me feel really like uncomfortable and like nervous like I don't know I want to be helpful and I've given the last two people money just like however many ones I have is what I give them but how do you guys like deal with that stuff and do you does it bother you to think like oh they're probably taking the cash and and maybe buying drugs or something like that with it or do you just look at it as like you're helping the person and it's not None you to judge so what do you think chase when people are getting money like that do you think it's really for food or something else you can't really tell what i mean what's your gut tell you i don't know it depends on how the person looks at it. What do you think, Carl? It depends the way they're talking. Like, I don't know. That sounded more real than the dude the other day. Do you think so? 
So, I don't know. It's a tough situation, but I just wondered what you guys felt about it and like if where you live, if people, like I wonder if they do that in all countries or if that's just like a US thing or what. So, we did it again. We got the double cheeseburger from Sonic and it's too big. I couldn't even finish mine. Did you finish yours? Mm. Carl, did you finish yours? No. <laughs> we did this once before, do you remember? We're like, don't ever get the double again. It's too big, but we did it again. Stomach. And they're eating ice cream. So Carly's gonna have a stomach cake after. Not eating it. You're not eating your ice cream. <laughs> So I came home after Sonic, super tired, so I didn't really go to bed, I just came and relaxed a little bit, and now I'm watching James Charles' new video. But now watching Chase, like, redo all his YouTube stuff, I might redo, like, I want to get a new intro, I want to change, like, the banner and stuff, because the picture that my mom put, I don't like it. So, I'm gonna go ask her for the login stuff to this, so I can just, you know, look around a little bit. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, and I'm completely ready for dance. What a great outfit. And then I have all my stuff downstairs, like my leotard, my tights, my dance shoes, and it's super crazy to be back because, I don't know. It's actually not that crazy. <laughs> I don't know. But it literally feels like I was just literally there like last week because I kind of was just for a master class, but it's going to be a little weird, and I'm a little nervous. No, I'm not. I don't know why I keep lying. I'm not nervous, and it doesn't feel like a long time. Um, it just feels like normal Monday at dance, so, yes. All right, guys, I have Andrew here with me. He's looking tan again today, look. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when the sun's just so bright like that and you just, it washes you out, but we did a little Costco trip. So I stacked Andrew up on some protein and his crispy treats that he eats by the dozen. Yeah. <laughs> no, the kids are going to be very disappointed with me because when they go, there's a lot of junk food, but I don't eat junk food, so I didn't get any of it. Yeah, we got Mom quite got a bit. We got some though. cookies and they like fruit snacks and um, what are these called? Granola bars. And then I got a couple dinners, some pork that Andrew and I won't eat, but the rest of them will and some chicken alfredo and then some fruit and uh, tomatoes I've learned I'm pretty boring when it comes to food yeah actually I think you're pretty basic my whole life is built off me being boring but trying to be funny <laughs> can't have both comedy and and uh, excitement yeah oh yeah gotta have 16 razor blades because you know you can't just buy one pack oh. for any of you that need to buy razor blades it's just best to grow a beard yeah it's the most fiscally responsible <laughs> buy them when beard. buy them when you live at home with your parents stock up on them save them yeah. so then when you move out you have like a stock of like 20 of them i'm just gonna tell you every time we go to the store <laughs> need another 16 and i'm gonna yep. take one every time that, I did that. <laughs> that way when it's time for me to move out i, I was, have a stock of like 100. yeah i was telling andrew he'll be buying the bulk mac and cheese Cheese. Yeah. And uh, look, he probably already stocks up on like toothpaste and things like that. Well, we just often, don't even know. How often do you go into my closet? Never. Exactly. <laughs> Anything that's in a box. He's probably got fruit snacks up in his closet. No, I can't avoid the temptation of those. If I got them, I eat them. It is so hot. Just from walking outside to the car to load up our groceries, my face is just sweating. And Andrew was just saying this is good prep for our vacation because it is going to be so hot where we're going. Are you guys tired of us talking about it yet and not telling you what it is? I mean, we could tell you. I just feel like it would be more fun to kind of like surprise you when the time comes. So we're getting excited though. But yep, a week from today, we're going to be there just sweating our butts off. All right, guys, so Carly's home from dance. You want to tell them about dancing today? Good. You liked it? Yeah. You haven't been dancing in how long? 20 years. <laughs> no, when's the last time? I don't remember. Your recital? Uh uh, I went to that camp. Oh, yeah, that's right. But I could actually improv today. Really? Yep. So, how'd that go? Can you show me what you did? No. Why? No. If I don't have a video. A video? What do you. No, show you. No. Yeah, improv. <laughs> 
If you can improv now, why can't you improv for me? No. Come on. We won't show anybody else. What did you do? We did combos. We stretched. We did these things for a really long time. <laughs> Those are hurting. And I hurt my leg right here. No, it really hurts. You guys never get to see Pippa in the vlogs. Because no one can pick her up. <laughs> Beepers. Tell her to give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Now. <laughs> you gotta say it nice. <laughs> give me a kiss, please. Pippa. Go. Hey. She must think you have bad breath. You're kidding. <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna play down that road? <laughs> At least I don't eat my own turds. Here. She'll give you a kiss. Nope. See, you really do have bad breath. <laughs> what the heck? Hey. Oh, yeah. Heck. So we have this new book that has so questions go to in what it. Page? Go to today's date. What is today? August. No, it's not August. <laughs> July 16th. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? We've done that. That's all right. Mine would be talk to animals. That would be so cool. Actually, no, I don't really care. I Because then, would... like, what if you wanted to fly and they just started talking to you? I would yeah. do time travel. That would be fun. Go back in time, go in the future, come back. That would be... I feel like that would be bad, though, because then you would make your life boring. No, no. Then think you so. won't learn from your mistakes. Sure you will. No, you won't. Hey, you can go ahead in time and see what your mistakes are, and then come back and do do things better. <laughs> what would would you tell anyone that you could? No. God, I would. Cause. How are you doing in today's vlog? Look, she won't give you a kiss either. Ever? Well, I don't want one. <laughs> She's nasty. All right, what's She's your? She's a living turd. What was your superpower oh, gonna be? Still giving you a kiss. No one likes Carly. <laughs> Ugh. Please. Mm, time travel, I guess. You're capping off me. Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank. I love you. All right, guys. So thanks for watching our video for today. Be sure you're subscribed. Make sure you thumbs up the video, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. What What superpower do you want? Superpower is to. Um, have as many powers as I want. That's not, That's a, not a superpower. Um, read minds. Okay. I can already do that.